wherever you are participating in this Qatar attend International Scientific Dissemination Conference. My name is Sunday Adidin. On behalf of other co-authors, uh, I'd like to make this presentation titled Changes in Contraceptive and Sexual Behaviors Among Marian People in Nigeria. We bring evidence from nationally representative surveys. To give a quick background, young people in Nigeria are a high risk and vulnerable group for poor sexual and reproductive health outcomes. And several poor health outcomes, such as uh, water pregnancy, and safe abortion, and even high maternal mortality, uh, persist in Nigeria. And young people contribute significantly to these poor SRH outcomes. So understanding changes in their sexual behavior, that is sexual behavior of young people, is very important uh, to know what has been working in terms of the different interventions and programs that have been implemented over the last uh, several years, and also to framing appropriate interventions. So in this study, we analyze the demographic and survey of 2008, 2013, and 2018. Uh, basically to assess changes in inconsistent common use and non-use of modern contraceptives, multiple sexual partnership as well as early sexual initiation. And then to give a quick uh, uh, result, some result from our analysis, we found that over the five-year period, uh, about 40% increase was recorded in multiple sexual partnership among males. And over the 10 year period 2008 uh, 26.7% increase was also recorded. Uh, we found um, different pattern in risk decision behavior among the females. Uh, because all the four indicators studied in this research showed increase in SRH uh, outcomes among females. For example, over the five year period 2013 to 2018, 75% increase was recorded in multiple sexual partnership and females, and 62.8% over 10 year period 2008 to 2018, also among uh, females. Our resource from motivated analysis also supports our descriptive uh, findings. Uh, young women have significantly higher odds of engaging in all the four indicators of poor SRH outcome study uh, in this uh, study uh, compared to their male counterparts. Um, we also found that um, being age 20 to 24 was protective against risky sexual behavior. Uh, being in Richard also was also protected against risky sexual behavior and uh, comprehensive knowledge of HIV and AIDS was also found to be protected against risky sexual behavior among young people. Uh, to conclude, uh, we established that four out of five of Marian people engage in at least one risk behavior in 2008, 2013, and 2018. Our results also establish significantly increase, significant increase in the profession of respondents, particularly young women that engage in risk social behavior over the study period. And so addressing the high and increasing level of risk social behavior among young people, particularly among young women, is very important. And this is very critical for the achievement of overall good national health status to reduce maternal mortality, to reduce unwanted pregnancy, to reduce safe abortion. And it's also very critical to ensure progress towards achieving SDG targets and 3.7 which is basically to ensure universal access to SRH health services by 
year 2030. Before I stop, I would like to acknowledge the founders of Catholic for their support over the last 10 years. And I thank you all for your participation and attention.